right? Welcome back, guys. And uh, yeah, welcome back to another Forza Horizon stream. Today we will be starting the fourth game. I've actually started this uh, series and franchise this year only, but we're already now on the fourth game. <laughs> And uh, I've also quite recently just uh, only finished uh, Forza Horizon 3. But um, yeah, with like how many people are potentially playing this game and this one being the first I can play like online with others. I want to get to it a bit earlier. And um, yeah, start it uh, on stream. So I can also do then uh, some off stream sessions with Levy and uh, Demise and uh, some friends of theirs. So um, yeah, quite looking forward to um, Get to start this one and then of course play with others and um, Haver Max, welcome in dude how's it going how have you been i haven't had much time to chat here this menu music oh yeah it's really really good i've really enjoyed the radio stations in these games uh, in general like quite a lot Yeah, that's uh, no verse whatsoever. Good to hear that uh, you've been doing great. And uh, yeah, I'm doing quite well. I'm actually super stoked to start this game because it's uh, the setting that I've been looking forward to the most, I think, in um, like the series between the five games. I will say though, Australia definitely has been my favorite setting so far out of the first three, so I'm not quite sure if uh, the setting is gonna beat that for me because Australia was uh, freaking gorgeous and I love the uh, atmosphere did a lot of hours uh, on this one yeah I think this is still the most played for Horizon as well I think it still has um, at least as big of a fan base as uh, Forza 5 does which definitely speaks for its uh, longevity, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, get into this, shall we? Okay, so we gotta go and choose a name here. There's uh, just a few. <laughs> wizard? You're a wizard, Harry. Before you play this, you were playing Need for Speed Heat. Uh, the only thing that Need for Speed Heat had over this was the car customization. Yeah, I've also played uh, Heat earlier this, uh, also this year, it wasn't that long ago, but I played it uh, quite recently and uh, I've also really enjoyed Need for Speed Heat, I have to say. I didn't really play a lot of the more recent Need for Speed games, but that one I did. And I did enjoy it for kind of like trying to be a bit more like the old school games, I guess, like Underground. And the car customization was definitely a good uh, aspect of it. Yeah, that's something I think is definitely a bit lacking so far in Forza Horizon. Like, uh, especially when it comes to like tuning your car with like body kits and stuff. You know, often you get only like uh, one to three choices, and that's it. And three is like the absolute max. So I hope that um, the car customization is going to be better in this game than it was in Forza 3 and 2. But uh, we'll see, I guess. Your Majesty. That sounds uh, fitting. I think this game was much better. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've played a little bit uh, on Levy's account, and yeah, it uh, tended quite nicely. Eva Alessandra, welcome in. At the center. <laughs> yeah, 
could do that. I hope you've uh, been doing well. Yeah, the car selection is absolutely amazing in the Forza games. You have to find a racing game that um, has like the same amount of like different cars. Unfortunately, a lot of the cars were locked behind uh, the servers being offline in Forza 2 and 3. Which is something that uh, now also the AC games suffer from, like content being locked behind offline servers. But I think everything is still online for Forza 4, right? So I should be good to get all the content if I want to get it. Averot, welcome in. Also going Senny. Hope you're having a good day. They and me to leave. hope you had a good time with um, Prince of Persia. Ava Demise, welcome in. Also going, my boy. Oh, very nice, uh, Alessandra. I do like me a skyline. So yeah, welcome in everybody. We're just getting uh, started with some Forza 4 here. I figured I make the start of the game uh, on stream and then I can do some off stream sessions with um, Levy and Demise, of course. But yeah, I gotta say, like choosing a name with all of these options, that's uh, a tricky one. Count Driftula. <laughs> Hella. Hello, human. <laughs> mm -hmm. If only we had uh, crook. If only have cook. Chump. See a chump. It was uh, crazy expensive, uh, Alessandra. Yeah, I bet. Like the amount of money you can spend on it uh, and stuff. I wrote going well, thanks dude. Was watching some YouTube, how's it going? Stream went well, closer to finishing the main game of Prince of Where Persia. And so we do that and the epilogue DLC next week. Uh, <laughs> as well to complete uh, the playthrough. Very nice. That's some great progress there. Huh? And that's good to hear. I'm glad we stream went well. And uh, yeah, it's going good. Decided to start some Forza 4 today. In advance uh, to a weekend because we're gonna wanna hook up for um, some co-op sessions. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna head back to EC3 and finish that off. Choose a nickname as a nickname. Yeah, I think I'll go for Your Majesty. I feel like that's the appropriate way to address me. We can change at any time, apparently, so I can switch back and forth between names. Here's what I see. I see a festival that never ends. Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. 
That's the horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to autumn. A new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. Definitely sets uh, the vibe max. Gincho. Both the environments already. Recent gives me Valhalla vibes, but I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because it's the exact same locations. I see dead people, right? Right. That's one thing I really look forward to in this game is like the season system, because it's gonna vary the map uh, quite a bit, I would reckon. Make it feel completely different, like obviously in the winter time to the summer time. And apparently every week it uh, changes, like a different season. So I think that's uh, pretty neat, it's like also in real time. King Rickmeister. <laughs> That's me. Count Driftela himself. I mean, I seen uh, Demise's drifts on uh, Mafia. One 360 or whatever it was. Well, that was actually insane. I think somebody clipped that a while ago. Five on the wish list. Nice. You could also play it on the Game Pass if you wanna like try it out uh, first or something. Right, Often they have like deals where it only costs like one buck uh, for one month of testing. Like the fence in the back of the car. Just lose yellow. Coming up on the quarry. Woohoo! Driving Mafia looked, uh, looked pretty good. Reminded me a little bit of the weight uh, that the GTA 4 cars had. At least from what I've seen. Never played it, so I wouldn't know if it uh, compares anything gameplay wise. Red down! 
right down. Watchdog's driving. Yeah, Watchdog's uh, driving mechanic can, can be a bit iffy, to be honest. I think I honestly prefer the one in, uh, in Watchdog's one the best. But, um, I don't know. They are not really my favorite driving this feeling. Is it, Horizon. We are kicking off the summer season with the greatest race of all time. Point yourself in the direction of Horizon and put your foot down. First to the festival wins. So let's go. Don't sweat it. The Jets aren't in the race. They're just happy to be here. Yeah, that's true as well, Rod. You know, having like the cloud uh, game servers is really neat. If you have like a solid, strong connection, drivers coming from everywhere. Now it's a party. Can try out games, uh, you know, even quicker. Cheer these racers on, guys! Come on! Yeah, it's uh, dressed really nice, uh, Alessandra. I can wait till I can, you know, free roam with that uh, one. I can see a Centenario, Ferrari FXXK, and a beautiful Bugatti Chiron. And is that a Vulcan? Oh, Horizon! Sorry, I didn't want to crash into you. And I blocked the way. Do not want to miss out on watching this. Look at that Senna go! I mean, the car, sure, but someone's got to be handling that thing. It's been a while since I played GTA 5, but I definitely did enjoy the car physics. I was missing a little bit the weightiness uh, of... Um, of GTA 4, but I think it was uh, really solid. Doesn't, you know, have to be like super realistic or anything. Kinda wish I kept the feature though where you could uh, fall through the windshield. If you had like a really bad crash. Quite a show. I try my best. Is everyone here? Yep, all here boss, ready and raring. Great. Okay. Do we have your majesty? Your majesty? Hmm. So these are the only faces I can choose from? I don't know. Scripted win, yeah. Yeah, Forza is definitely uh, notorious for scripted wins, especially in the showcase races. And um, hey, Veroni, welcome in. Audi partner. Red Arrows Pogas. Edwin Shield animation was funny. Yeah, it was definitely a nice little detail uh, to have happen. But I feel like the whole um, kind of like body behavior and ragdoll physics were just fantastic in that game. Also, um, for the NPCs, like, if you would shoot them, they wouldn't just fall, you know, and die once their health bar reaches zero. They would actually, actually like stump around and uh, depending on where you hit them as well. Love you could have a female racer for once in Forza 4. Yeah. It's kind of curious they didn't give that uh, choice earlier. And kind of like always locked you into, uh, you know, the same kind of like character model. Especially since the story doesn't really matter anyway, so. Might as well give a choice. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kira, director of the festival. Looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. This one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. 
Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? Got the Ford Focus. The Audi ETS Coupe. Dodge Charger. I think I'll go for the Ford Focus. They will lead me to Lee. <laughs> right, these cars are gonna, gonna get us to Lee. Plan today is to make a run down to Old Mexico. Oh yeah. That sounds like a very good plan indeed. What cup next week Sunday? Yeah, already. That's true. Yeah, man. I couldn't have more mixed feelings about it because I love World Cup as an event so much. But uh, yeah, I decided not to watch any of the official um, TV um, stations. Next I'm gonna do is uh, watch like, uh, you know, unofficial streams, I guess, because when you're not uh, directly supporting World Cup. But uh, yeah, very mixed feelings. About it for sure. Yeah, exactly, Alessandra. You no, know, it's nothing to do with uh, who you are. If you want to drive fast, Maso, you went uh, f uh, focus as uh, you think, Max. I gotcha. Yeah, I always like uh, these types of cars. To be honest, Dodge is amazing. I like the um, Audi personally. Nice, uh, Ronnie. Yeah, I mean, those are all great choices. I'm gonna do a poll. Yeah, I mean, people, I guess, can write into chat their preferences. Like uh, you have already done. you are spending the next uh, few days in Ensenada. It is a nice little beach town south uh, 100 miles into Mexico. Haven't you heard of it before, yeah? Haven't ever been there. But uh, I would really love to visit Mexico at uh, some point. Especially since, uh, you know, Levi um, has also lived there for quite a while. But, um... Yeah, since I have to drive it, I think I'm gonna go for Ford Focus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're all great cars in their own regard, to be fair. I do love me a muscle car as well. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of uh, Audi, but they can be alright for sure. Nice choice! Maybe the hottest hatch on the planet right now. And designed right here in Britain, don't you know? So you also went for it, uh, Demise? Yeah. Yeah, do like me a Ford. I think the Dodge is the same model as uh, generally from the Dukes of Hazard. Ah, is it? Interesting. All right, let's get you set up with a personalized number plate. Go on, be creative. Number plate. Let's go for blue one here. There we go. Additive to Alessandra, nice. With 90% of the cars in this game are left hand uh, drive. Yeah. I would be uh, curious, you know, considering the location. <laughs> 
Gavin. Boah, Charles Lee. Um, to my you see quite a few of these out on the streets. The light blue color is amazing along with the uh, calipers. Nice. Yeah, we also have uh, quite a few forts uh, over here. Not this uh, exact model, I don't think, but... Um, yeah, lots of people are driving them. These look much better than Fiesta RS. Let's F for Fiesta. It's the one that uh, we're driving. <laughs> exactly, Alessandra. James Bond reference. Very subtle. This way, n uh, nobody's ever gonna find out that uh, we're a secret agent on a secret mission. I expect you'll want to get a feel for your new car. So I've signed you up to some events to get you started. See you there. Uh, Rod Steven Spielberg is a huge James Bond fan. In Jaws, there's a number plate with uh, 007 on it. Really? That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. But uh, yeah, I'm also quite a fan of the James Bond movies, I have to say. I've been watching them since I was uh, a small kid. I've been kind of like watching them since. One of the first cars he bought was a Porsche Panamera. Interesting. So I reckon it's not uh, too expensive then. First event here. Boat racing. But you haven't seen one for a while. You think Spectre was the last one of the new uh, movies. But Goodnight is still one you have a lot of nostalgia for. I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, watched most of the movies. But the ones that I especially loved uh, was. Um, I forgot his name. What up? Here's uh, Brosnan. Yeah. Got his name there. But I think the ones with him were my favorites because of uh, how funny they were. <laughs> they took, took, didn't talk about themselves like, too seriously. But uh, I've always uh, really enjoyed them for that uh, aspect. <laughs> but yeah, Casino Royale I also really enjoyed. Welcome and uh, Skyfall 2. Yeah, but in the correct movies, I didn't quite like as much. Someday, who knows? But uh, Casino Royale and Skyfall are really enjoyed. Yeah, that's uh, true as well, you know. And I know, I always have a lot of nostalgia for especially kind of these... Um, like half funny, half serious, kind of like uh, agent spy movies. <laughs> so, uh, being like only silly, only uh, serious, I don't know. I always found it a bit uh, boring after a while. It's true as well, Alessandra. I think it was good to cast, uh, you know, a new actor for. 
Casino Royale. And that movie had like great scenes in it. It's actually um, also showcasing quite a bit of parkour. Like that uh, chase scene on the construction site uh, was uh, more, like proper parkour, not like it's shown often other movies at the time and before that. really was uh, awesome rod. I sometimes go back to it uh, on YouTube and uh, <laughs> watch it again. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, from Spectre Max. Pretty good scene I have to say. I always like uh, one-shot scenes. The done a while and if it's like meaningful you know like if you're walk following somebody walk and uh, it makes sense you know it's a quite a nice uh, scenery with uh, you know the festival going on and everybody wearing the mask and uh, makeup and everything director of Golden Eye also directed Casino Royale as well. Have the only two he's done. Not sure the future of the series, but you're sure it will continue the next uh, few years. In the PS1 there was a James Bond racing game, but you didn't actually do racing. You had missions and weapons to take out vehicles with. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, there's actually a James Bond game that I really want to play. I don't know the name right now, but it's done by the same developers that also made... Um, Blur, a racing game that's kind of like realistic cars but with power-ups akin to like Mario Kart. And um, I think it might have been Bloodstone, yeah. It's uh, still a James Bond game but I really want to play because it looks really good actually. Between the racing and uh, the like on land missions. On foot missions I guess. But it's not enough, it's one of your favorites. That's another good one for sure. Um, Alessandra PS1 had a Batman game that you could play as Batman, Batgirl, Robin in an open kind of world. It was lots of fun. Don't remember the name though. I gotcha. It's really cool, you know, to not only focus on like Batman but also like explore some side characters. It reminds me I still gotta play um, Arkham Knight. I've only still played Asylum and uh, City. But well, that's the last Bond game you played. It was lots of fun. If it takes moves were awesome as well. Uh, as well. Yeah. It looked really good from the gameplay that I saw on um, 
YouTube. I would really like to dive into kind of like some uh, video games that are based on like uh, movies. Because there's definitely some gems in there. Also like lots of crap. Keep performing like that and you'll be invited to some really good and unique uh, games for sure. Ava Aura, welcome in. Hello. Citizen. I'm Anna, your automated <laughs> natural navigation assistant. I'll help you explore the festival and find activities throughout the UK. Yeah, right. That's probably the one I looked uh, most forward to playing because the gameplay looks really good. And of course, a bit more mod modern, maybe as well. Okay, Your Majesty. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Road Racing series. And it's also going to be interesting that hey, the Joker Majesty. won't be your main antagonist. Your radio should have presets for our resident Horizon presets, station. what I think. Horizon Pulse, Horizon Base Arena, Horizon Block Party, and Horizon XS. See what takes your fancy. I hope you're doing well today, Aura. In 400 meters, turn left. Scott Tyler bringing beats, bringing the noise, and bringing the heat to the summertime base arena. Now, I am also bringing a whole squad of rookie 200 meters. Of landscaping. I mean, that's. They're bringing themselves. Scotty is just contributing to the spectacle of their arrival with a banging soundtrack. Is is what I'm saying. Look, I'll show you. In 400 meters, turn left. Yeah, that's true as well, Aura, you know, that's why I think it's good that uh, there would be games where Joker isn't like your main antagonist, because it very much was the case, I guess, uh, in Asylum and City. Turn left. Uh, Rod, after you're done with GTA 5 and Prince of Persia, you'll be doing Arkham Asylum, City at Night. I think you finish GTA 5 and Prince of Persia next week, so after that you want to do them two days a week on Wednesday and Thursday. That sounds like a good uh, plan, dude. Looking forward to see you play them again as well. Are you gonna be doing like any particular type of playthrough, or is it gonna be um, more like a casual one? Or are you very, very tired, but today is a Friday, so that's uh, something to look forward to. That's nice. Got a lot of uh, early weekend. It was uh, Batman and Robin, so the game, um, the game's name. Nice. Oh yeah, I like that one, Aura. It's another thing I gotta do is uh, look up the playlist again for Forza 3 and 4 and sort out some of the music that I really enjoy.
Sam Hefer Smobish Buckman. Thank you for joining. How's it going and um, how was the rest of your stream? Spotify is full of uh, Forza playlists. Oh yeah, I bet. I usually go on YouTube, but um, yeah, Spotify is probably also a good place uh, to have a look. But just for casual ones, you finished Asylum in uh, one stream before. We're not worried about Riddler stuff or getting uh, skills, so we're likely do it in one stream. City will do a similar thing, but we'll probably uh, be a couple streams maybe. Ah, okay, I gotcha. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. To, uh, you know, do a casual one. To also have enough time uh, for all the other games you're doing before the year ends. round of the Horizon Road Racing series. How could I not with you driving like that? But it doesn't start until autumn. Can you amuse yourself until then? Wow, you really are the image of Frankie Beaumont. Sorry, Joel Carter, Horizon Driver Relations. Now, do I have an opportunity for you? There's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver. Short notice, I know, but what do you say? Meet me here ASAP, and I'll introduce you to Mike Steele. He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. Do I play this with a wheel? Um, I just play this with a regular Xbox One controller. Yeah, don't actually have a racing wheel or anything like that. Do you have one, Alessandra? Uh, so what's going good to you? Made decent progress in AC3, so try to be the main game today so you can get started on the DSC the weekend. Very nice. That's uh, some good progress there. And um, yeah, that sounds good. Are you looking forward to play the DSC? If you ever played it before? And thank you, I'm doing good. I started on some Forza Horizon 4 and uh, definitely enjoying it. I quite recently finished the third game in Australia and uh, now we're in the UK. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Well, that's uh, true, because you still need to fit Deus Ex Human Revolution and Mankind Divided into the rest of the year too. Yeah. And then of course also the AC games, you know. Yeah, fortunately, Odyssey shouldn't take uh, ages with the new game plus and everything. Makes sense, Alessandra. I feel like lots of people who play uh, Euro Truck Simulator eventually get up, uh, you know, end up getting wheel and everything. This will be done this weekend? Already? Damn. How fun to the game are you at this point? Turn left. Here they are. Future star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. <sighs> You'll do. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We've got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say.
Right, off to Broadway. And step on it, yeah? We don't want to lose the light. I got just some more. I gotta be honest, um, Tyranny of King Washington might be my least favorite DLC in the entire AC series. <laughs> However, it's definitely a DSC that's very dividing in the fan base, so um, you know you could also end up loving it. Of course, I've definitely seen enough play player like really enjoying it. But I don't want to take anything away from you, like uh, you know, story-wise or spoilers. So you made it. can talk some more once uh, you played it, I reckon. Right. And I would love to hear thoughts uh, on it. You're going in at the deep end, but at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. If you're as good as Joel says, this should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. I'm further than the target distance, okay. Do I have time limit? Yeah, I do. Let's pause real quick. Uh, or our Odyssey has still so much to do, even with uh, New Game Plus. Absolutely, yeah. I've done a New Game Plus run a couple years back to uh, save time, and I still ended up playing for 30 to 40 hours of the main game only. But I think also like having to do things like, you know, hunting of the order members and all the quests you have to do to get there. Um, definitely added quite a bit of time on top of it. That's the thing with Odyssey, right? They really enforce you to do out of your way to do side stuff. Like quite a lot. Uh, Rod's still pretty early, so maybe not this weekend, but when doing uh, no hut for immersive gameplay moments you figured out you can still do follow road without the hut. Ah, so you're doing no hut for Odyssey? I didn't realize. Or is it uh, mostly for um, like specific moments during the game? So to be honest, it's just, it's just more AC free, so you're not expecting to like it. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking maybe you end up liking it because a lot of people that liked AC3's main game really hated uh, Tyranny. And a lot of people that didn't enjoy too much of the main story of the main game ended up, uh, you know, liking the DLC much, much more. But who knows? <laughs> you know, the gameplay is still, of course, based on the same system, so... But they do change it quite a bit with uh, like unique abilities and stuff. And then after you get mostly through the store, you have to enter the fucking Olympics. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, just too much, honestly. And all of it are basically fetch quests. But only for certain moments though, just so you can have some gameplay without hard for the video projects you're working on. Ah, okay. That's definitely fair. But that's cool. You know, like... Sometimes, even if you have no heart, you know, there's still, like, ways where you can utilize um, certain aspects of a game. Like, as you say, you know, following the road. I guess you could also say, I play without the heart, but I also have uh, aim assist enabled. That way you can still make it, like, uh, more bearable. Because I played Origins and Odyssey and I had uh, aim assist completely off without the HUD. And I can tell you, like, aiming like that takes the longest time to get a feeling for, you know, where the arrow's gonna land if you hold uh, your ball like that. Most annoying thing, uh, though, without hard is trying to fight items you need to collect for quests. Yeah, I bet. At least in Valhalla and Origins, you would have the Animus Pouts or Eagle Vision, like Odin's side. I mean, I guess you have it in Odyssey as well with uh, one of the abilities, but the radius is like much smaller. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely was a bit insane. But at some point you get a bit of a feeling for it. But uh, yeah, it takes a while, for sure. Hook it left, but keep your foot down. Q pursuit vehicle. Yeah, the baddies in a jet plane. So what? You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. And the baddies overshot you and your hero is safe. For now. Good. This is all good stuff. Don't relax, kid. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. The road's blocked off ahead, so you're gonna cut across the field. They'll add something in post, crashed alien ship or something. It's all marked out for camera coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor it, and pray. Hey, eyes forward! Ignore the camera. Try to look heroic. And that is a wrap, everyone. Congratulations, kid. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. Oh, yeah. Uh, or you said that got a war last night and you were really impressed with the amount of customization you can do for the gameplay and controls. They really put a lot of thought into accessibility. Examining and etc. can be modified to be easier depending on your needs. They even have accessibility presets, so you're able to change some controls to be easier on your hands. That's really good. Yeah, it's always great to have, you know, because you never know what uh, people might be struggling with. But anything to make it more accessible and easier to handle. It's like always appreciated. My driver has overdress. Caught the eye of Alex, one of our Horizon superstars. He's looking for new racers to take part in the dirt racing series. Well, here's the thing, Aura. My nickname is Your Majesty. <laughs> so considering that I think I'm actually underdressed, I should be much more pompous. <laughs> I should wear a freaking crown or something. That as well, because lots of situations in games where people have to mash a button, but uh, they just can't do it as fast as it is, as it, as it is required, you know. Turn right. For example, the situation in Unity between Belek and Arno, lots of people can't progress there because they can't mash a button as fast. So having like a hold option is like much, much easier, of course. Lego TSC bow. Could be worse, the character could be called Namskau, like the one in AC Rope. I actually wonder if that's uh, a nickname you can choose in this game. I wouldn't think so. It's only something uh, Ubisoft Sophia can come up with. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle the dirt. Uh, 
Ah, okay. And choose another one. So we got the Fort Escort RS Osworth. The Subaru Impressa WRX STI. And the Lancia 037 Stradale. I think I go for this one. Of a Subaru. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. How could I forget? <laughs> Indeed, Aura. How could you? The final boss fight in Bookman uh, Arceus is very dark, so it's like, and involves a lot of uh, dodging, and uh, you struggled so much with it because of your hands. There's are so many people saying the same thing. Yeah. And in those cases, it's really frustrating if you just can't progress. Are those lights? Yeah. You know, for those people who can't see quite as well, you need like triple the amount of uh, lights. Choose a bad mobile uh, rod. <laughs> yeah, I would too, I think. To borrow Alessandra. Well, I mean, I could make a poll this time. Let me actually do that. Okay, so we got the odd escort swerve. And we have Impressa. And we have Lenkia. Hunted does not mean guidelines. The fuck? Okay, apparently I can't create uh, the pool because it doesn't meet the guidelines. The fuck? I don't know why. That's like a bad word. <laughs> Somewhere. I just do it like this. Nope. Doesn't work. These cars are too sexy, Twitch cannot handle it. You are gonna choose the uh, link here anyway. But you've had that happen too before. Or uh, did you? Did you find out why that was happening? Is it like random or is it like because of a specific word or something? Hmm. Okay, let's go for the Subaru. Nice. The Subaru. That flat four boxer engine is an absolute beast, I'm telling you. I mean, that's usually my approach as well, Aura. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this car looks good. Um, 
but you think it had an uh, issue with one of the words you use. Can't remember what it is now, uh, though, but yeah, I had to alter whatever word it was. I gotcha. Yeah, they would at least show you, like, uh, what kind, like, which word they're, they're meaning. Maybe I wasn't allowed to put, like, a brand name in it, because I was, of course, saying the Ford or the uh, Subaru, but I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good so far. I've uh, definitely been enjoying it. Of pretending is uh, pretty precise. We definitely need some better brakes. But uh, yeah, the handling is uh, really good. I gotcha. Yes. Yeah, that would explain why it's uh, in the back. so precise, I guess. How do you feel? Dirty. Brilliant. I think you could go far in my dirt racing series. Perform like that again, and you may just make it into round two. Oh my god, left it up. Looks like you've nearly qualified for the autumn season. And remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Hey, Your Majesty. There's a lot of rumors flying around that you've landed a spot in a new movie. Make sure you save time to take part in the autumn season when you're rich and famous. Hey, Your Majesty. 
fancy winning a prize. Hey, I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry, my name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there. Uh, yeah, sure. Nice. Here, have a wheel spin. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. something here. Yeah, be cool. So, Kira told me about these. Fast travel boards. Smash fast travel boards and you'll get a discount on the Horizon Fast Travel Service. Smash them all and the festival will cover your cost completely. Good to keep in mind for our many adventures. I didn't lose any points there, but I take it. Turn right. In 100 meters, you will arrive at your destination. I can choose between the fort and uh, the Sabaru. Let's stay with the Sabaru. Just open your mind and let your love flow like the sunshine. You ready? Ready? Let's do this! Oh, it's you! You made it! I'm Jay, by the way. Alex wouldn't shut up about you, you know. If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start, you've got to know this isn't strictly sanctioned by the festival. So don't mention this to Kira, all right? I gotta go. Work to do. See you around, though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows your name. Looking forward to seeing what you can do out there. Have fun now, yeah? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually increase the difficulty to above average, because also it gives us a bit more credits. It shouldn't make it uh, much more difficult, ever.
driver task. <laughs> yeah, very creative name. I quite kind of like the uh, concept behind the driver task. Does it kind of like take uh, the cars of um, you know, online players and also analyze their driving behavior and then the driver tar will drive in a similar fashion and with their cars. Either XZ recommend. So, street racers have all these unspoken rules about respect and honor and who can and can't join, but all you need to know is, drive like that and you're welcome anytime. Hey, just to let you know, there's another round one dirt race starting soon if you fancy it. See you there. Oh. And me and Jay have just finished setting up a new danger sign. You should check it out if you fancy some thrills along the way. Uh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Stars was out. Whacking great flags on all of them. Indeed. Voila. A danger sign is born. So long as you survive, they'll probably let us build more. It's crazy how beautiful this game is for. Like, Force of Free already was gorgeous, but uh, this is on another level. Turn right. But yeah, obviously, this also like enhanced for the Series X. Turn right. I did actually want to play this on the Turn PC right. and stream it, but apparently every time you try to capture the game on PC with OBS, uh, it crashes the game. Turn right. Turn right. And uh, there still hasn't been found a fix or they never patch it either. So, yeah. Probably just uh, play the off-stream sessions on PC and on-stream with the Series X. At least we have like a cross progression, so that means I can play on either system. But they are really, really weird.
random chickens on the road for. And for Odyssey, chickens made a return. is you've made the cut for the horizon autumn season. Bad news, obviously, is that it doesn't start until autumn. You don't mind sticking around, do you? Hey, I owe you big time for helping me out earlier. Meet me here. I want to repay your favor. And uh, that's no worries whatsoever, Rod. Thank you so much for being here and uh, for joining. I hope you have a good rest and a good night as well. And uh, yeah, we will catch you very soon for some Tomb Raider. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, for those of you who haven't checked out Rod's channel before, definitely recommend doing so. He's uh, playing a variety of different games, often narratively focused. Like uh, Assassin's Creed, of course, uh, Tomb Raider, Grand Theft Auto, um, Prince of Persia, and lots of other games. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, definitely check out those games and also his unique playthroughs. He's often doing like uh, challenges like no damage or um, you know having like specific uh, parameters to follow and uh, play the games under certain conditions. So um, yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't yet. That's a verse whatsoever. More than happy to give you a shout out, Rod. And yeah, we we'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Two hundred meters. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Two hundred meters, turn right. Turn right. Yo, Scott Tyler here on the ones and twos for Base Arena, bringing you all the news from the Horizon Road Racing Circuit. Round one is done. Finished. Kaput. Please do make sure to also uncover the roads that we haven't uh, driven on yet. They usually, like grayed out or something. So as you can find like bots or unlock like more roads and stuff, which will in turn give you like more XP. Any barn cars yet? <laughs> I think we're actually on our way to our very first one right now. Ah, 
Ah, never mind. I think this is kind of like a property or something. Then we unlock drone mode and then it shouldn't be too long until we unlock barn mines. But yeah, I mean, can't miss out on, uh, you know, barns or anything. Obviously. But yeah, I think we're kind of like in the tutorial stage still where we want to showcase like the different um, type of events and seasons and stuff. I don't think we unlocked any uh, signs yet. It was 100% uh, planned like that. Recalculating route. gonna believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set, but when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Right. That's how it works. You know, here's a huge house for free because you did one stunt run for us. <laughs> Excellent. Well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys. This is where your threads are stored. Your wardrobe is like a map of your career. So the more you get yourself out there, the more clothes you'll get in return. A big name needs a big style. Ah, I could also switch to another character again. Interesting. Okay, so oh. let's go for the Series X t shirt here. Jacket. So all of these are locked anyways, right? The only one I can go for is a grey hoodie, I think. Maybe I could grey hoodie and... Oops. I didn't wanna leave.
can get a hat, apparently. Black cap. Also get glasses. <laughs> and get a mustache. Amazing. But also regular outfits. Oh, I need this one. Green man. Absolutely. Hey, Vashon. Indeed, yeah, it is. You any good at dancing? You can bust a move to show off before a race and bust an even bigger move for when you win. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be great. Let's uh, get this for the victory from the heart. And two step for the showboat. Okay, that works. I can also change my car horn. Amazing horns. That's a Sea of Thieves theme. unlocked uh, anything here. <laughs> How would you get a rubber duck here as a freaking horn? Green man looks, uh, looks just like me. You don't know what I look like. I mean, I look like the green man. It's accurate. <laughs> the ice cream van. I can lure people to me and then challenge them to a race, I guess. With the ice cream van music. Oh, yeah. Well, look who made it to the autumn season. You are this close to qualifying for the next round of the Dirt Racing Series. You should come back to Tarn House. It's completely different in autumn. Hey, Your Majesty. We've added some more stations to your radio. If you're into drum and bass, then tune into Hospital Records. And if you're into something much calmer, Timeless FM is back with a healthy dose of classical. In 200 meters. Oh yeah, hospital records. Now we're talking. Come on, bass. Let's go. Turn right. 
arrived at your destination. I should probably let you know that the mud will be real slippy out there because of all that rain we've been getting recently. Same course, totally different drive. Definitely the ML Assembler. It's kind of like nice for both off-road and uh, on-road handling, I have to say. And it also is tuned uh, naturally quite highly, like it's pretty good max speed, acceleration. I didn't even have to invest any money into it yet. It's a pretty solid car. Drive! Woo. Oh, we'll have you in round two of the Dirt Racing Series. Thank you very much. It doesn't matter if you've already done this route. The fans will keep coming back for more. You'll get noticed and it'll help you qualify for the next round. It's a win-win. Hey, Your Majesty. Welcome to the Horizon Autumn season. My team are helping me find our most influential rookie to compete in the next showcase. Want it to be you? Convince me. Beck tells me you're in round two of the road racing series. And Joel mentioned that someone named Mike Steele is after you about a stunt thing? Speaking of stunts, Jay's on the hunt for our next stunt hero. And Alex says he's ready to kick off round two of dirt racing. But he's really excited to get going on the cross country series. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, what are you waiting for? You have 10,000 events you can do now. 
But that's right. I do like all of the uh, different content here. I could take on this uh, community challenge as well. Let's uh, check out that. Hey, your majesty. Just letting you know, the auto show is now open. Come on down and browse. Or I can send the catalog to your house if you prefer. Introducing the Horizon Super 7, a brand new event that tasks you with beating seven challenge cards made by the community. Create your very own challenge cards using drift, speed, error, and many more challenge types. Let your imagination run wild with Blueprint Builder, a powerful tool which lets you play stunts, structures, and scenery with your challenge cards. That's really cool. That's something I really end up enjoying in Forza 3. It's like creating events. yourself and like change your weather, time of day, all of its uh, stuff that goes uh, into creating unique event I guess. Nice decision get it! at your destination. Look who's joined us at the dealer's table. So, which game will it be first? New driver stepping up to the table. Dealer, turn the first card if you please. It's 372 in the Bugatti Chiron in less than one minute and nine seconds. Well then. Safe to do so. Yeah, I shouldn't have driven there into that. Can't like slow me down too much. Not so much of that. Down, six to go. Yeah, let's try another one. Kind of like the bucket list uh, challenges, I guess, from Forza 2 and 3. Ace high! One card down. Challenge 2 coming right up. Down to miles per hour in the rip rod in less than one minute and ten seconds. Kind of interesting how it says uh, kilometer per hour in here miles per hour. But I guess it always depends on the person creating and what they have chosen. I'm doing good, thank you, Sean. How are you today? What are you up to? Turn around when it is safe 
turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 meters, turn right. So hot, it's There's a count. pair of challenges now. It's cool. But you're not a winner yet. Challenge three, dealer. Uh, Sean, good vibing out today. It's day before payday, so you have to go uh, to bed early tonight and wake up tomorrow and pay bills, etc. I got you, dude. That's good. You know, that's uh, coming up. Are you playing anything uh, tonight? <laughs> nice outfit. Again. Let's try again. Unless you'd like to ask our dealer for a new challenge card. <laughs> oh, you always hate uh, boats, uh, Aura? Turn around when it is safe to do so. A few games you want to work on, so you don't know if your stream will because you're in a swap and uh, change mood. It's definitely fair. I definitely get that. Because I'm not only streaming, you want to like stick to one Deal game or uh, not too many Can at a I time. You with challenge four? Get 16 ultimate air skills and have fun in the Lamborghini LM002. Sure, let's try.
almost perfect. <laughs> when it is safe to do so. I mean... That kinda worked. I'm not sure if I got a skill for that, but... Turn around when it's Barrel was kinda so. sick, actually. Legit. even required of me apparently. At the roundabout, take the second exit. This is your snapshot 100% legit. Do they? I don't use the snapshot. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, didn't know that. Four of a kind. Well, this is getting exciting. Dealer. If you would turn challenge number five, please. Let's do it. I quite enjoy these. I like a nice uh, change of pace. And also unique. Yeah, probably Alessandra. I have like over 200k now. Should be able to fancy myself something. difficult where I was like way above uh, what I had to get. Five challenges! That's got to be a straight flush. Let's go for challenge six. A big drag jump. Sure thing. I kind of like how you can also choose the season. 
for each uh, kind of like bucket list. Uh, you know, done like more jumps or something, but I had like five minutes to do that apparently. That's a dislike, sorry. Am I going to play Forza 5? Definitely, yeah. Definitely intend on playing Forza 5. But uh, yeah, I would definitely do like also more off stream sessions in between my uh, stream sessions of Forza 4 and 5 as well. Because of course these games are getting bigger and already with Forza 3 yeah, that's quite a bit uh, off stream. We have officially run out of card game analogies. Are you ready for the final challenge card? But yeah, I'm looking forward to play Forza 5. I think so, Alessandra. I've never driven in Mexico myself, but uh, yeah, I think. That, that guy with a crown. I should have it. I'm the Majesty. Yeah, I'm going to jump for about 500 meters. It's actually insane. Super 7, and you beat it! Okay, shall we see what you've won? Oh yeah. Thanks, Sean. Almost unlocked the Autumn Showcase as well. Very nice. Ready to go again? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. But what we can do though is apparently we can. Um... Great news! I've found a driver for our first showcase event. A rookie, no less. Unproven but highly skilled. Huge potential. I think they're going to make this one to remember. So, you doing anything right now? Okay, so that unlocks the showcase. But uh, yeah, we also unlocked um, with Horizon Super 7, you can also go for a more risky but more rewarding uh, variant of it, apparently. But I can do it another time. Now let's get to the showcase event.
can definitely hey, do some things on the wave level. We're kicking off the brand new Horizon Super 7. Are you game? Yeah, I've done it already, but thank you. I could try to go for this uh, speed trap. Gotta get uh, 281 of the three stars. Hospital Records, London Electricity, and Chris Goss. How about this next showcase? Is it going to be amazing or what? What? Well, easy. You okay? What? I can't hear you, mate. My ears are ringing. What's the matter? Did you go to a gig last night? Well, usually it'd be because I went to a gig, but this time I was down by the auto show when they brought the hovercraft in. Blimey! What noise it makes! Is this... I think you should take a bit of a break. I'll handle the tunes for a while. Yeah, I, I might have a break, mate. You've you arrived at your destination. Oh, stars. I should do it too. I have to come back here with a faster car. Yes! You're really nailing all of those speed traps, aren't you? Don't stop now. I'm just getting started. See what cars I can buy. <laughs> we'll definitely do that uh, soon, Alessandra. We get skill points. Why you can we get use them your skill point here to unlock car masteries. Every car has its own set, offering unique perks and bonuses. But skill points can be spent on any car you own. You can get the weekend toy. Your car gets noticed everywhere you go. Get an instant 2000 car collection influence. can get uh, the car skill multiplier builds up twice as fast or the car speed skill scores are increased by 20%. Let's get the exceptional handling. And then let's get the head turner. People of the car gain a permanent 5% increase in event finish influence. Each skill chain takes two collisions to break. Damn. But 25 or that's gonna be amazing. Turn around when it is safe to do so. It's like a board down here, isn't it? What is this? You alright? No, no, you were supposed to crash into that thing. It was a bonus port. Kira's had her team hide them all over the place. That one was good for an influence boost. Turn around. We can get a sports canal. So. Yeah, I reckon. Recalculating route.
beautiful spot. Uh, one of my favourites. I've camped on the bank so many times, I think even the fish are sick of me. <laughs> the way my character's just dancing there. Jesus. Imagine somebody finding a location that they find beautiful and doing like a dance like that. He's not even looking into that direction, you know, he's looking away from it. <laughs> Priorities, I guess. In 400 meters, turn right. Yeah, that's me. Seems like a equal condition here of the race. Hey, Your Majesty. I know it feels like you're just getting started, but this showcase is as good an opportunity as you'll get to have some fans screaming your name. Anything easy happens.
crazy how good this game looks for 2018. Nice! Four wheels beats two fans in a big air mattress any day of the week. I never doubted you for a second. I mean, it's easy to say now that you never doubted me. What would you have said if uh, I would have lost? Well, don't stop now. What am I going to tell people if our brand new showcase champion doesn't qualify for the Horizon winter season? Damn. It was a Pulsar, uh, like a studio or something. Classic Force Horizon move. It's something you can buy. A welcome pack. Very welcome to spend some more money. Yeah, how do I get uh, that one up there? That's the question. Working from the other side. That's a jump. But have you heard about the going on at our new Lego Valley Festival expansion? You know, the one with the this block party to that one very soon. Hope you'll join us. You'll want to see this for yourself. Turn sharp right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Speed here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Roman history of Britain is actually fascinating if you look into it. And if you do, maybe you could come and tell me some of it because I haven't got a clue. Jesus, <laughs> that dance is killing me. Don't do that. Oh damn, I got four spins actually. 
Oh yeah, you'll look sharp in those. Got the metallic you can change tank if you top like, clothing. Or just do it here at the festival site. Jesus Christ. No thank you. Is this big Fridia? The song? Um I can have a look in a sec. Another clothing item. Hold up. Let me check. It is, yeah. Rent. From Big Freed, yeah? Interesting. Okay, I have uh, some more wheel spins here somewhere. Hundred seventy K. Let's fucking go. Wanna buy a sports car? I know I haven't really gotten to um I guess the festival spot yet. And I kinda just wanna keep it uh you know casual and natural with the exploration. So if I come across the opportunity to buy a car, I will probably get one. But right now I've just been focusing on like open world exploration and races and stuff. Oh dear. I knew it was a bad idea to use novelty horns as wheel spin prizes. Off you go and equip it then. I got a legendary horn. <laughs> Gonna check that out in a sec. And we got the Ethics for Taxi from 1964. Amazing. change my horn. Do I have to go to like my house or something? So, I want to have a look uh, how that one sounds like, but I guess I'd wait. A very sad aura, always happy to check. I also just noticed I can just go over here and do the top right, it would, say, uh, it would say current track as well. So, it makes it way easier to check. But you got 170k randomly. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. Taxi is money. Is it? Nice. Okay. Um, hmm. I want to get another influence board. In 400 meters, turn right.
arrived at your destination. You can race any event in co-op or PvP with drivers you invite from your session. I mean, going for like a PvP race could be fun. Hey, your majesty. Let's take a look at Horizon Blueprint. This is something I let our old festival boss play around with in Australia. But they're not here. So I need to see if we have any fresh blueprinting talent. Blueprint lets you choose where and how and how fast. But first, cars. Every blueprint needs a car theme. These are curated by the techs in the auto show to keep things competitive and interesting. If nothing takes your fancy, you can even create your own. Let's go for the Winter Wonders. Now you need to set a car class. Slow or fast, small engines to large, or set open class for a real free-for-all. Um, let's go for S1 maybe? Last few touches, then we can get your blueprint named and published. Set the season, weather, time of day, and number of laps if it's a circuit. This oh, is your for race, winter, down to the last detail. obviously. Let's go for sunrise. Maybe dawn. Let's go for dawn in the winter time. With a Let's go for light snow. Morning time progression. Collision song. I'm fascinated yeah. for the time being. We can laugh until the morning. Congratulations! Your first blueprint event and the honor of being the first driver to run it goes to you. Show them how it's done. But the funny thing is, I was holding back tears. I didn't think this day would happen. I'd give all this up for a chance. Oh, let's see if people are joining. Event. Stuff event. I thought I could just do it with um with like uh, bots. When it is safe to do so. This in PvP there's uh, not gonna be any bots added, it's only human players. This is the activity panel. 
You can come here to find and join events and activities other drivers are taking part in. at your destination. Wait, it didn't save my blueprint? Come on now. Okay, in that case I'm just gonna play um, Horizon 1 that they recommend. It's kinda sucky if I didn't save it. love it. Well, you get uh, credits definitely faster in this game than you did in the previous ones. Like I'm already at almost half a million here. I should mention, we want to find out who is the best road racer here at Horizon, so I'll be taking the fastest qualifiers through after each round and eliminating the rest. Welcome to round three. Then again... Here's how this is going to work. We're not sanctioned by the festival, we make our own rules. The best racers stay, and the rest go home. This is the street scene. I mean, if that's cool with everyone. And again, of course, I didn't really spend any money on cars or upgrades yet.
I could actually buy a new house. For 200,000. Be worth it, I guess. Because we unlock the Horizon promo where we can photograph cars and get uh, credits for it. Mm. It's not that much for stretch, is it? Oi! For 200k, hold up, I gotta move her. Eh? I mean, that could actually be accurate to be honest. When it is safe to do so. Especially in the UK, I heard there's like lots of houses that are empty and uh, I really desperately want people to move in there. Which is why a lot of the prices also go down. Turn left. Left. Yeah, we're talking, of course, about uh, old houses. Turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Here we are. Nice little semi-detached cottage in Ambleside. It's neat, cosy, convenient for the festival site, and very, very British. Perfect for Horizon UK. What do you think? Very British? Sign me up. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go sort the paperwork. This house has been on the market for ages. Great to see it in safe hands now. Uh, sure. Let's make this our home. Isikas. Great position, Gere. Great position, Gere. Let's have a look at the. Brands here that we have. But for Hot Wheels cars. That's pretty cool. Got James Bond editions. Perfect, yeah. I like it. But I'm gonna wait here for now. Uh, garage. Car horns. Let's have a look at the legendary horn that we've gotten earlier. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Bit dramatic. Also got some new clothing items, didn't I? Got the metallic tank top, which looks god awful. Got the black polo, so I think I'm gonna take that actually. I didn't get a new jacket yet. But we can keep that. <laughs> I 
We got the green valleys. Amazing. Got the Santa outfit. Awesome. Here's the thing. I need high-res photos of all the cars at Horizon for promotional purposes. If only I knew someone who was good with a camera, who was already tearing around the festival, who was probably planning on driving every single car they could get their hands on anyway. Here, start with your car. See? There's only 70, 752 cars to photograph. It's uh, nothing. Ava Severin, welcome in. Actually, go ahead and change our car. Look what's currently available. My cars. Could go for the Mazda RX-7. It's not really tuned, but uh, we haven't driven it yet. After 135 hours today, you finally got the black leather glows. <laughs> finally. Only took a bit of time to get there. Hey, at least you got them now. This was car needs some tuning. This is a lovely little village. I'd stop for a cup of tea and a cream bun every time if I could. But you're not winning any races that way. Let's drive with the D rank Mazda. <laughs> See how it goes.
handling brakes acceleration. It's never driven anything worse. I missed it now. I should have really tuned this one. is you always kind of like um, have a similar rating to your car otherwise you have like no chance whatsoever yeah I definitely have to change my car or tune it I guess one of the two I think I'd rather go ahead and buy a new car and uh, tune better a little bit. You have arrived at your destination. Welcome to the auto show. Fancy a new ride? You can buy it here. Yeah, let's have a look at the Lambos. Yeah, maybe that's an affordable one. Them. The Gallardo is actually quite uh, affordable. 180k. Diablo as well. That was actually one of my favorite cars in Forza 1. So for me, it's between these two, I think. Let's go for the Diablo, actually. It's kind of like a... You know, homage to Forza 1. Let's go for a unique paint shop here. I like the black and yellow quite a bit.
challenge cards. Some cheeky driver must have left it here. But we're not going to let that stand, are we? Challenge cards. Can you do it? The challenge starts here. Unless you can think of a better one, of course. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Might as well give it a chance. So I assume we have to set back a little bit. It's kind of weird how, how we spawn here. Try to get some more speed by going to In one hundred meters, turn right. I mean, is that a challenge for if you just have to set back and then drive from there? I guess the hint is that it kind of like spawns you in front of an obstacle, but still. I don't know. I've seen better changes. Oh, nice. We qualified for the winter season. Oh. Congrats! You've qualified for Horizon winter season. Conditions and competition will be fierce. Only seat covers and hot water bottles are optional. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. You have arrived at your deck. That's the season I've been looking forward to the most. Because it's gonna change the map substantially. Hey, and we also get environmental effects season. like um, I'm putting together lizard, our showcase. heavy if you snow, can think of a driver with a little bit of nights. experience, a lot of influence, and a train to catch. Be sure to let me know, yeah? So yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. And as far as I know, that's actually the current actor season. Um, once you get out of the um, introduction stage, so yeah, pretty cool. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Huh? 
Gaffington Whitehorse. I think that's also something you can see in uh, AC Valhalla. Ah, the Offington Whitehorse. This thing's incredible. The first prehistoric display of horsepower. One. Yeah, I definitely see that in Valhalla. So I believe we can go ahead and do some more wheel spins here. Nice. BMW M3. I like that one. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Ha. I expect to see those dance moves next time you're on the podium. Head Take home my sugar. to practice or try new ones. Got the pep talk emote. Amazing. And I also got a super wheel spin. So let's have a go at that. Hey, Your Majesty. If you liked the Horizon wheel spin, wait till you try the Horizon super wheel spin. <laughs> Same principle. Damn, I got so close to 300k there. Chance, chance of winning something really special. Freaking hell, between two legendary awards. But I got the 911 Turbo, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Message center. I've also received some gifts apparently. First name Pagani Sunday Ingrosa. Oh yeah, yeah, these gifts are gonna come in really handy. 1961 Jaguar. Yeah, I take all of these. The more cars, the better. Jeep. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. A Dodge Viper. Freaking hell yeah. One of my favorite cars, Dodge Viper. I think it's cool they give you the option to gift cars to others. It's really helpful as a beginner and you know you don't have to trash them or anything if you have uh, duplicates later on. Jesus, how many <laughs> gift cards did I get? I thought it was 9, but it's 9 plus. And at this point, it's still 9 plus, so I don't know. Actually, insane. But this is all from the community team, isn't it? It's not from like an ind individual. Almost done. Yeah, this is like a true Christmas here. Yeah? Too many presents to open. Also got a gifted VIP super wheel spin. Nine super respins now. What the fuck? I'm getting rich so damn quick in this game. It's gonna be insane. Got the Auto Union Type D legendary car. Four hundred thousand credits. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I take it. 
ain't complaining. Avec is like welcome in. Thank you for joining and thank you for the raid. I am the king, indeed, and I shall be treated as such. Never again, also hi. <laughs> Did you finish uh, Odyssey today? Oh, you did? Damn. GG's. And congrats on finishing Odyssey. That was definitely quite the endeavor. So, what do you think about Odyssey now that you finished the entirety of it? What was things that you liked about it and what was things that you didn't quite like so much about it? <laughs> I got the clown dance. Amazing. Okay, one last. Oh yeah, another 300k. Let's go. And I still have another three gifts. I right, I've been gifted the center outfit. And another clothing item. Okay. Jesus. That was a lot of free stuff here. Actually insane. Do you think we should apply tactical short swords more in the 21st century? They're far more lethal than biochemical bombs. I mean, obviously. Far more. I don't know, you guess it looked pretty and it's possible to fluently stealth with some annoying prior setup, but what the hell was most of the writing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the writing is uh, basically a giant meme fest. So if you really enjoy the type of humor, I guess, you know. That's exactly what you're looking for, but if you even try to take it a little bit serious, then, you know, all hope is lost, pretty much. And I would agree, like, stealth is basically definitely possible and can be quite fun, but I don't know, there's just so much about it that doesn't scream Assassin's Creed to me, but more like the opposite. It's like such a weird contrast in the game. I feel like a lot of the game is just way too over top, but that's me. Wait, I got the Centenario? I got the Centenario gifted? Are you kidding me? I got the Senna as well? What? I think Alessandra is going to be mad now. I was a thing she had to pay for the center. <laughs> and I just got it for free. The fuck? Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the Centenario. Look at that. 2 million 300,000. Worth. And I just got it for free. What the actual heck? That's a car from um, from uh, Forza Horizon 3. Is still doing dual shield Valhalla? Do assassin damage shields? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a plan. And surprisingly, dual shields are you know quite effective. 
or our Odyssey stealth is chain killing up to four enemies in two seconds. That's totally realistic. Yeah. It just, you know, just like porting from one enemy to the other. What you can basically do is just chain kill, then uh, throw the smoke bomb thing, go back into the bush, wait for them to search for you, and then do the same thing again. Rinse and repeat. You can take out like any fort or camp with that tactic. And another thing that really annoys me with stealth with Odyssey is like how over the top the assassinations look. It's like you, you know, impale them through their ass <laughs> and break their neck. And I don't know, like we have just, you know, things that are potentially lethal all at the same time. You love a chain kill because you sucked at combat. I mean, that's fast well. They definitely come in handy. Oh yeah. I like how I have over 1 million credits now. Actually insane. Oh, I got the Forza edition. We call that a Forza edition. Custom upgrades you can't get anywhere but here. Big modifications inside and out. I don't even want to think what you'll be able to do with that thing on the road. You step them down, step them, then drop a spear out of their ass. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I guess it's another symbolic message from uh, the, uh, from uh, Ubisoft Quebec. Or you love a drink on Valhalla that has two tower shields? Yeah. Like, you know, not like uh, two small shits would be enough. No, you have to get the big ones. You figured out you can sometimes vote by holding down the parkour button. But uh, why would you ever? So, in Odyssey or Valhalla, he's like... Because, yeah, yeah, in Odyssey you can um, definitely vote. But you mean by holding A, right, you can also vote, apparently? Because you have the B tap vote ability in Odyssey, right? And then you also have the hold A vote something? I don't know. Yeah, the jump button is A. I think B is a regular vote in Odyssey. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can do that. There's actually quite a few surfaces you can vote over in Odyssey. But Valhalla gives you more um, vote opportunities, I think. sprinting is a joke. Yeah, I mean both in Origins and Odyssey, say you know sprinting does almost nothing. But now a super wheel spin apparently. Where do I get all of these wheel spins from? Are these like all like gifted to me? <laughs> like that. Crazy. What am I even driving for? I can just show in the menu, wait for people to gift me stuff and let me spin. Turn left. Turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, honestly. The Centenario is so. Hey your majesty! This winter showcase is going to be Got incredible. Everything I, needed I need it. a driver Life. I can rely on. With a proven record, who doesn't mind the cold? What do you say? All I need you to do is catch a train into Edinburgh. Another thing that's funny is, I just got to a winter season. I didn't drive a single race, but I already got enough influence to uh, do the showcase because of the uh, wheel spins and stuff. Turn around when 
it is safe to do so. Seems legit. Have you got a gig in Edinburgh tonight? Um, yeah, I do this, but how am I going to get there in this terrible weather? Well, I hear the. It's like I'm going to cry when you play Mirage or when sprinting doesn't work indoors. Why? Yeah, that really annoyed me. Like also in uh, like the tombs and stuff. Like, then we're saved. I mean, Chris, if they don't mind giving me a lift, that is. Well, inside the caves, and then you can't, uh, you know, like run. Also annoying are, uh, of course, the um, the fact that you can't sprint with your horse around cities or like villages and stuff. Turn left. When it is safe to do so. Right, but uh, yeah, either way, I think this is what we're gonna call it today with uh, Forza 4 here. Just want to make a start on uh, this wonderful game. I'm definitely going to be doing an off-stream session on the weekend because I'm going to be joining Demise and Levy and potentially Maxi as well for uh, some of this. So I might already be advanced to a different season. Um, but I'm still going to come back to this next week and uh, I can continue uh, Doing another like on stream sessions as well. I would try to focus like the showdown events mostly on uh, streaming time. But uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be like a split playthrough where I do quite a bit off stream as well. But, uh, uh, or uh, right, like, why do I care if I run into people on my horse? Let me go up. Yeah, especially since you could do it in uh, Origins. I mean, it would maybe slow it down like a little bit, but nearly not as much as it does in Odyssey. But yeah, I guess it's just... Uh, I think I remember reading somewhere that the decision behind it was I wanted to um, have like less stutters going on in the game, because obviously all the tech just had to be loaded, especially around cities and villages. And there was like one way to ensure that uh, the game wouldn't be, you know, too extensive on the hardware. But to be honest, Ubisoft Quebec has a really weird track record with uh, having like weird decisions to optimize the game. For example, in Syndicate, they lowered the animation of uh, some of the assassinations and stuff to 30 FPS. But also they lowered the cloak animations to 30 FPS. Like all the clothing animations. Which in Unity was 60 FPS. Because they wanted to get more FPS out of, uh, you know, what could be uh, measured totally for the game. So on the surface it looks like it's running better, but it actually looks worse. But yeah, let's see with Zoki back. Yeah, yeah, Valhalla also has a speed limit, but at least in Valhalla you have a sprint button, so you can get like a little bit faster sometimes. But it will still lock you to a certain speed uh, every now and then, which can be quite annoying. Okay guys, this is what we're gonna call it here today. Or Forza Horizon 4. Thank you all so much for joining and for being here for the first ever session of this game. We're gonna go and find ourselves a rating target. Let me just quickly have a look who's online. Oh, I do see Lucinda playing some of Death Stranding, so I think we're gonna go and say hi over there. If you want to join me for the raid, uh, there's some raid emotes you can copy and paste if you like. This training is great. Yeah, it looks uh, really interesting, I have to say. 
also on my two stream list, I think uh, Maxi actually put it on there. I yeah, just want to say thank you to everybody again for being here today and for joining the stream. Aura, Alessandra, Bistek, Rod, everybody else who's still in here lurking as well. Thank you all so much for joining. Bistek, thank you again for the raid. And Ixi, thank you for follow again. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow with more of um, Assassin's Creed 3 gonna try to finish off the game with a no hard challenge because we only have two sequences left and uh, a few homestead missions so i think we can get that by tomorrow and uh, yeah with ac3 finished we're gonna go back to valhalla and then also start our 50th anniversary of ac1 on sunday so yeah that's the plan Hope to catch you guys uh, for some of that ac action and until then have a good day and rest of it and yeah, see you soon. Take care.